So, you're becoming one of the most regular <laughs> uh, people on my channel at the moment. Andrei, we went to yeah. Bayern versus Leipzig yesterday, yeah. but we've got something a little bit different for everyone today. Yeah. We are at Unterhacking. Unterhacking, yes. And they were in the fourth tier last season. They were in the fourth tier, they got promoted, they, were, they won the fourth tier and had, had to play relegation to get in the, in the third tier. And they're playing yeah. Bundesliga club yeah. Augsburg today. Augsburg. Is it a bit of a Bavarian derby that yeah, we're watching absolutely. today? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And since they n never quite meet because there are such separate divisions, yeah. it's truly a special occasion. And obviously, I was saying to you on the way here, I love to go and see football yeah, at yeah. Bayern Munich, at the Nou Camp, and I feel like every football fan should go and see the yeah, biggest stadiums. Yeah. But I get a real buzz coming to the oh, yeah. weird and wonderful stadiums that people don't often get to see. What are your first impressions of this stadium? Well, it's uh, a lot smaller, of course. Yeah. Uh, and But with that, the, the supporters are much closer to the club. I was saying to you, right, because with Bayern, we have a lot of tourists come from all over the country to watch the matches because it's once in a lifetime opportunity. But here is a pretty core yeah. uh, fan base. And we are basically just like a few 20 minutes yeah. drive outside yeah. of the center of Munich. Yeah. So do you think that the people of this club have a real deep connection with them because there's absolutely. obviously such big clubs in this area that absolutely. they support their small local team. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's technically not part of Munich as such, you know, it's a suburb, but uh, yeah, they're obviously in the shadow, you know, of the Munich clubs. Yep. And I, I really think they are really proud to be uh, a fan base of, you know, their, their local team. Football and it's bobsledding. Right? Football and bobsled. Yeah, is that yeah. their badge? It's got a bobsled yeah, on. Yeah, that is their badge. Yeah. Have they got a bobsled team yeah. then? So there's a lot of like clubs in Germany and in Europe, but yeah. we don't really have this in the UK yeah. where you have different sports yeah. associated with a club. You were telling me that Bayern have yeah. a basketball team. Yeah, FC Bayern. FC basketball. Bayern basketball, which <laughs> makes no sense. It says FC yeah, Bayern, but they they have a, a bobsled team yeah. here at Unterhacking and SPVGG Unterhacking. That is yeah. the football yeah. club's that name, right? It. And yeah, that is the whole club's name. Basically. And what's yeah. SPVGG? It's Spielvereinigung. It's Spielvereinigung. Uh, <laughs> Vereinigung. And yes. that means? That means playing union. <laughs> oh! So this is the uh, area of Unterhaken now. Yeah. We're having to walk away from the stadium because of the... There was no card payment, right? <laughs> it was cash only. Couldn't find a seat. It was absolutely mobbed in there and it's so hot. What would you say yesterday? 30 degrees? Yeah, easily, easily 30 degrees. But it's a nice little suburb. That would have been some FCB fans, yeah, some Bayern yeah, yeah. fans would have come here and, and cross crossed out 1860. We're in. What a lovely looking stadium, oh, yeah. by the way. Yeah. This is what a third tier stadium in yeah. Germany looks like. Yeah. But what do we have here? Uh, Meatloaf, it's very Bavarian. Yep. Many, many businesses sell, sell this. And what's the word in German? Leberkass. 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 And you have ketchup with yours, yeah. mustard with mine. Yeah, most people eat it with mustard, yeah. Okay, so I'm the traditional German. Yeah, absolutely. The and traditional Bavarian. A couple of beers as well, look at that. You can't do that in the UK. No. <laughs> so that is where Augsburg is. So we're yeah. in the south of, we're south of Munich now. Yeah. And it's like an hour's drive to Augsburg, just over. Yeah. So it is, it is like a Bavarian derby yeah. then? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I would consider it as a Bavarian derby. Yeah. And so in terms of... I've got a lot of viewers in England and the UK and Scotland yeah. and stuff. If this was an English cup game, yeah. how would you describe the two teams? Like Unterhacking v Augsburg would be yeah. who in England, would you say? Uh, maybe Augsburg would be something like Brighton. Yeah. And Unterhacking, probably someone from League One. Yeah. Maybe Oxford, something. Oxford, okay, so Oxford v Brighton today. Yeah, yeah, and it's like 30 degrees. Yeah. And look at all the Augsburg fans yeah. over there. So they're obviously a Bundesliga side. Yeah, yeah. Do you think they bring a lot of fans to a game like this because they're used to obviously playing teams in the Bundesliga? They don't yeah. get to come to these small stadiums too often. So yeah. they bring a lot of fans. And... They bring a lot of fans in the region in general because it's not that far away to drive. Yeah, of enough, course. So. And so will we see a shock today? It, it is definitely possible. Yeah, it is definitely possible. <laughs> Right, so look at this. The players have just come out to warm up. How long until kickoff? Like 45 minutes? 40, 40, 45 minutes. 45 yeah. minutes. And look at that. The Augsburg fans are in their numbers, in the heat as well, cheering their team like that for a warm up. Let's go, 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 let's go
They fire off a gun with every player that gets announced. This is mad, look at this. from Augsburg. I didn't know that they had such great fans. Look at that. That is a Bundesliga side Augsburg over there playing third tier. Uh, Unterhacking today. Unterhacking, they won the fourth tier last season. Now they're in the third tier for this coming season. And look, even their fans over there. They've got like a little display, a little tifo kind of a thing. Looks good. Looks good. What a stadium and what an atmosphere. break can't blame him it is boiling in it insane. You've got to respect the Augsburg fans despite going behind against the team we were in the fourth tier last season. Still singing, look at them. Oh God, the fans have celebrated a save from their keeper like a goal. Hacking. 
This has got to be the weirdest half-time entertainment I've ever seen. This beats a pack of school kids taking a penalty shootout. Look at them. <laughs> what is this? We're reunited. We've got two seats next to each other. We'll sit up here for the second half. I got a great view of the Elspeth fans in the first half. But a massive shock is on the cards here. How big would this be for Unterhacking to beat Augsburg? It will be massive, especially financially, obviously. Uh, playing from the third division to go into the next rounds of the cup. Maybe playing in bigger teams in the future, you know, against Dortmund, yeah. against Bayern. It would be a massive thing for them, yeah. And so, if they win this today, would that be the biggest shock of the weekend in this competition? Because yeah. obviously the German Cup is on this weekend. Yeah. 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 There was a few results yesterday that you said were kind yeah, of... Yeah, but not, not that shocking. an interception. Water break and look, here's the uh, mascot firing up the crowd. He must be boiling in that suit. Would this be if you beat Augsburg? And how big would this be if you beat Augsburg today? Very big. Would, would this be, a, be nice? Would be so nice. Would this be one of the biggest results in the club's last few yeah, years? Say, yeah, I, I think so. And you got promoted last season. Yeah, last season. I was winning against the uh, Bundesliga. Bundesliga team. Yeah. yeah. Well, good luck. Good luck, lads. Nice to meet you, boys. so hot in Germany these past few days um, I've just darted into a supermarket here to do my outro yeah I'm having thought about it, I've edited the video up until the point um, you're watching now like I think that was the best 
football match I've ever been to in Germany. I've been to a few now at Hamburg, Dortmund and Bayern, but I just love those smaller stadiums where you don't know what to expect. And the fact there was a big cup shock, I think the atmosphere was just amazing as well. It was such a hot day, but the people behind the goals standing in the sun for hours before the game, the Augsburg fans and the Untaking fans, and they just made for such an amazing atmosphere. I think that's what German football is all about. Beers, a meatloaf sandwich and a, an amazing atmosphere. And a cup shock as well always helps. Apparently the biggest cup shock of the weekend. There was a lot of cup games on this weekend and that feels like it was the biggest one. Um, so yeah, really, really happy to have been there. What did you think of it? Are you an Untaking fan? Are you an Augsburg fan maybe? Are you just a fan of German football? Let me know what you think about uh, these two teams in the comments section below and how they'll get on this season. There's no League Cup in Germany, so Augsburg's season is basically over except from the league. Like They've got nothing, no other cups to play for now. They're out of the main German Cup after yesterday. So, um, yeah, what an experience. Absolutely love these kind of videos. Please do subscribe if you aren't already. Um, I make videos all around the world, different countries. I'm going to a brand new continent um, at the end of this month in Germany right now, obviously. I do a lot in the UK too, so if you like your football, please do subscribe. I'll leave a video on screen right now. If you could click on it to carry on watching, that would be amazing. Dankeschön and tschüss.